Everybody has their routine. It's all about the routine, the preparation that goes into the work. And now the United States looking to crown another champion. Jaden Cox defended his title last night. Will Dake be able to do the same? You know, Kyle Dake has a, a unbelievable position, and he's so stingy. His hips are amazing, very difficult to score on. Hasanov will go with both side lead leg. He's going to look to go outside step attacks and try to swing to the outside. You can't attack Kyle Dake's hips. He's just too strong. Kyle Dake being about as offensive as you're going to see Kyle Dake in a match to get that first point. Trying to just get in the head of Hasanov a little bit, saying, I'm here. You're going to need to bring your best, because my best is always going to be here. Early step out point for Dake and a 1-0 lead for the U.S. <laughs> We see an, enough hitting in the head here. You're going to see both these athletes asking for the ref to, to, to be on their side. And they're going to show that they're not really happy with getting fingers in the eye, getting slapped in the head. It's kind of the MO of both of these athletes. Interested to see if it happens again. We see our official saying action blue. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, get warned here for passivity and even go onto the clock by the end of the period if he doesn't make attacks. You saw our official saying action blue once, action blue twice. In the next 20 seconds, if you don't see Hasanov take a shot, you're going to see a passivity call. <laughs> Whistle comes in with 4.32 to go in this first period. Mark Manning. That's Rob Cole. Oh, excuse me, Rob Cole. Rob Cornell, Cole coach. Cornell, excuse me, where, yes. where, where yep. Kyle Diggs trains. Yep. They have the same haircut, he and, he and Coach Manning. It's nine days. I know. <laughs> Kyle Dake winning those national titles for Coach Cole. Right under hook applied there, nothing. And Dake looking for that second step out. Wow, that was a nice tightrope tight rope walk by Hasanov. Because you get pushed that many times. Oh, beautiful inside reach by Kyle Dake. We'll see if he goes right away for the two points or is just going to settle for the one. He settles for the one. I know, honestly, one of the things that I think the United States doesn't do as well as other countries is we're not as uh, like a dog on a bone when we get a leg up. We're happy to go with a step out instead of going for that two-point takedown. And that can really make a difference later in a match. So a 2-0 lead for the U.S., two step outs for Dake in this first period, 40 seconds to go. Dake, who hasn't wrestled a lot, only competed twice this year coming into the World Championships. Won the Spanish Grand Prix. His second appearance came at Final X, America's Wrestle-Offs, where he took down Alex Derringer in two straight matches. He took some time off after winning the World Championship last year to let his body heal up, recover a little bit. And Derringer at the time was ranked three in the world. So again, kind of like we've talked about with our Russian, uh, with the Russian, some of their biggest opponents are right there in their own room. So uh, that raises the level of competition for uh, the athletes in the United States when you have two athletes who are that good. Two nothing lead for the United States at the intermission. No offense from Hasanov Dake in on a couple of shots. Can't get the two, but he's settled for the two step outs. And now the conversation from Coach Cole in that corner. Yeah, Coach Cole, Coach Buxton talking to Kyle about uh, where to go next. Speaking of where to go next, he's another one of these athletes in a non-Olympic weight. Does he go down to 74? Does he go up to 86? You know, he obviously wants to be an Olympian and an Olympic champion to go along with his, at this time, one and maybe two at the end of the night, world championships. Asanov, the Olympic bronze medalist in Rio in 2016, nearly had a bronze in 2012 in the London Games as well. Three-time world medalist, a pair of bronze medals in 2010 and 11, and that silver last year, losing to Dake. Like Dake took a shot to the eye. They both changed their level at the same, level at the same time, and Jabril Hasanov caught him with a thumb right in the eye. That one wasn't intentional. Hasanov typically isn't uh, a head slapper. He's pretty quick on his feet. He doesn't really have an answer right now for Dake's quickness. A little outside reach shot by Dake. Let's see if he can get to the, the two here or just go to the one. 
say either two or a, a caution and one for fleeing there, and he's confirmed with a two-point takedown. So Day gets two and a four-nothing lead for the U.S. Coach Cole saying, you know, keep coming to him, but let's let's get him moving. That was a beautiful level change. He was able to catch the back of the heel with his hand. Dake is typically a really good one and done guy. He's able to uh, take excellent attacks and defend just like he did right there. Once you get into Kyle Dake's hips, he's one of these wrestlers that's very difficult to score on. Dake always moving, almost looks like a boxer in that ring with his footwork dancing around, in and out, up and down, constantly moving and circling, measuring his strike. More importantly right now with this lead, not letting Hasanov get any clear angle to, to shoot in. Comes in on that straight attack. He's in on the right leg of Dake. Dake's gonna try to come over the top. Very heavy hips by Dake and a beautiful shot by Hasanov, able to uh, get Takes weight backwards. And the coach saying he wants him to get off of the mat and get standing up. You can't finish on Kyle Dake when his knees are on the mat. You have to get him off of the ground to score. Another shot by Hasanov. Dake sidesteps it. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the official asking for a passivity on Dake because he seems to be on his skates a little bit backing up which at a four to zero in a world final, he has that opportunity to do that. He's gonna need to go and engage the tie. And he hasn't really engaged the tie now, going with that hard collar with his left hand. One minute, Kyle, one minute. Hasanov in on that leg. This is his best scoring opportunity of the match and he's gonna get the one. Dake gives up the one. Azerbaijan is on the board with 52 seconds to go. He's asking his coach to challenge it, asking for two or a caution in one. He wants the caution in one for fleeing the mat. Right, or a two-point move for, for control. I didn't see the control there, but I could see a, a caution in one for fleeing. Get that get, get Azerbaijan that was debating whether to push the button or not. They decide not to. Three-point lead for Dake in the U.S. 43 seconds to go in this gold medal match. Hasanov fires again, and again, he's in on that leg. Dake in a sit out, trying to come over the top, trying to control the hips. See his arm coming in between the crotch, and he gets the stalemate nicely done defensively there by Kyle. Really great defense by Kyle Dake. However, I'm not liking the way he's backing up and, and fleeing holds. He needs to get to his collar tie and, and, and get to Hasanov's uh, position because right now Hasanov controlling the mat controlling the action you can hear the whistles of the partisan Azerbaijani uh, Azeri fans and there we see a caution and one against Kyle Day. Four to two Hasanov will bring everything he has shooting toward Dake and the referee stops the action. With four seconds to go Having a quick word with Dake. Here comes Hasanov. Dake circling. Dake backpedaling. And Kyle Dake has won another world championship. 4-2, your final Dake of the U.S. Now a two-time world champion. He did just enough to win. It's not always pretty. He was able to score a takedown and two step outs to win it. And, uh, and then he just kind of got on his horse, got on his skates, and asked uh, Jabril Hasanov to come to him. He did. He wasn't able to score. Hasanov had opportunities, but Kyle Dake's hips are just so good that he wasn't able to score. Big victory 